have a question for you. Do you play video games? I grew up with the NES, Super Mario Brothers, Zelda. Back then, there was nothing like an afternoon spent with friends playing an exciting video game every now and then. And to be honest, in my opinion, video games are still pretty great. And it's even better when you happen to find a power-up along the way. Power-ups can completely change the game. One moment, you think you'll never finish the level, but then you get the power-up and bam, you're off and running to the finish line. The same is true in life. God is always with us and gives us the power to get through anything we face. That's why this summer we're focusing on power-ups, not the video game kind, but the kind we can experience when we put our trust in Jesus and raise our game as we play with confidence. As leaders and parents of children, our job is to raise up a generation who understands how they can lean into God's power when they need to keep doing what is right. And when they remember that God is with them and gives them what they need to keep going, they can have confidence. Confidence is living like you believe God is with you. The idea of confidence assumes that parts of life will be difficult. Maybe we'll doubt our abilities, question the path that God has us on, or wonder if anyone is there to help us. But confidence is that thing that reminds us, in spite of our hesitations, we can trust God and have hope and keep going. Throughout the book of Acts in the New Testament, the author Luke gives a glimpse of what it looked like for the early followers of Jesus to live with confidence. And during the month of May, we'll take a look at four moments that remind us of what it can look like to live like God is always with us. We start right before Jesus went back to his father. Jesus gave his disciples a huge mission, tell the world about him. The message of Jesus is for everyone. And it was the disciples' job to get the word out. Jesus promised that God would give them the confidence they needed to get the job done. Jesus has the same mission for us and promises to help us every step of the way. Bottom line, share God's love with others. Then in week two, we find out how the disciples found the confidence to tell the world about Jesus. Thankfully, Jesus also promised that God would send the Holy Spirit to help them. As the disciples were gathered together, the Holy Spirit came and empowered them to preach with boldness. Peter preached to the crowd of people that gathered to see the commotion. And that day, over 3,000 people trusted Jesus with their life. Even today, the Holy Spirit gives us confidence to keep going. Bottom line, God sent the Holy Spirit to help you. As we continue in the book of Acts, we see that Jesus' mission wasn't going to be easy for the disciples. Luke tells us that Peter healed someone in the name of Jesus and ended up causing quite a stir. As people gathered, Peter and John used this moment to share the message of Jesus. Soon though, the religious leaders arrested them and had them stand trial. Peter and John showed confidence in Jesus. They made it clear that no matter what happened to them, they would continue sharing Jesus's love with others. Bottom line, God is with you no matter what. Finally, we finish our month with a Jesus follower named Philip and an encounter only God can make happen. An angel told Philip to travel toward the desert. On the way, Philip met an Ethiopian official who was reading the Jewish scriptures. This man had questions and he asked Philip to help him understand. Philip answered the man's questions and pointed him to Jesus. The man put his faith in Jesus and was baptized. Bottom line, God is with you even when you have questions. All of these stories help kids understand something important. Being a part of God's big story isn't always easy. We'll face tough situations in big and small ways, but it's always worth it to trust God and show confidence in the face of those situations. This is something that God gives us the power and the strength to do. Our memory verse for this month reminds us of that. The author of Hebrews writes, so we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. We don't have to be afraid. God sent the Holy Spirit to be with us and give us the courage and confidence to face anything. You're in a relationship with these kids over time. It's not always going to be easy. So our prayer for you as a leader and as a parent is that when it gets hard or you feel like you're unsure of what to do next, that you'll find the confidence in God and trust Jesus to help you keep going. 
When you do, you'll discover how God is working in your own life and wants to use you to make a huge difference in the lives of children.